Beautiful cover girl. Done. Ready. And there's a guitar. Look at that. Look at that. Do you have a PK? I, at 10.30 I do. So in, in about a half hour, that's when, it, that's when it begins. I'm just doing my concert in the meantime, ideally. It's the perfect time of year Somewhere far away from here Hi, little wish. I feel fine enough, I guess Considering everything's a mess There's a restaurant down the street Where hungry people like to eat I could walk, but I'll just drive. It's colder than it looks outside. Like you dream, you try to remember, but it's gone. Then you try to scream, but it only comes out as a yawn. When you try to see the world beyond your front door. Oh, take your time is the way I'd rather make you smile. When you realize the guy might have to take a while just to find a the perfect time of day thank you very much to throw all your cares away Ooh. put the sprinkler on the lawn and run through with my gym shorts on take a drink right from the hose and change into some drier clothes Take your time, it's the way I run the make you smile When you realize that I got my time, might take a while Just to figure out what all this is for Pinch me, pinch me I'm still asleep Please God, tell me
that's the song. I'm I'm sluggish today, guys. A little sluggish. But I'm gonna lean into that. And do some songs that are a little chiller. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's get the big elephant out of the room. Monet! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you. All right. So this is a song written by... Uh, so I studied jazz vocal in, in university quite a bit. And uh, one thing I did was I, had, I found this list of like the top 100 uh, jazz singers. And I just picked a number at random. And uh, it was for an artist named Oscar Brown Jr., who was a very influential um, black composer, songwriter, singer. Um, uh, a lot of uh, religious songs, but a lot of songs about like the black experience and uh, some that are really, really heavy, you know, pulling up big rocks on the chain gang. Um, and this one. Oh, and, and then there's like, bit em in, get em in, which is like literally about slave trade and ooh, some really heavy stuff that I highly recommend listening to. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one that he wrote that is pretty popular in the lexicon called That There, uh, written from the perspective of like, uh, you know, a little kid. It's like, it's like a sad song about being a new parent. I think that that's a refreshing take, you know? Hey, Daddy, look at that over there. And what's that doing there? And what's that over there? And Daddy, oh, can I have that big elephant on the fair? Now, who's that in my chair? What's he doing there? And mama, oh daddy, oh can I go over there? Hey, daddy, what's the square? And how do we get air? And daddy, oh daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? My quizzical kid, she doesn't want anything here. Just forever to manage to know who, what, or why, where. My inquisitive child, and sometimes the questions get wild like, Daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? Welcome, Storm. Welcome, Silent Boy. Daddy, was that there? And Daddy, was that there? And Daddy, oh, hey!
that's a song. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm trying to fit in some songs that I really like by, by black artists. Some of them are really bloody hard, you know? Like, if I did, like, Earth, Wind, and Fire or something, I'd be safer. So maybe I should just do that. <laughs> but I'm, like, finding, like, Stevie Wonder ones. Like, I want to do Don't Worry About a Thing, but I feel like I need to listen to it a few more times first. Because I don't, I don't, because the other thing is I don't, I'm just kind of tired of, like, phoning in songs on these. I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? I'm a bit too impromptu on these shows, and there's a charm for that sometimes, but every night in a row, you just kind of feel like you aren't trying, you know? I don't, I, I you deserve better than that. Um, so, let me see here. I'm going to do Get Down On It. <laughs> I just need to know. I mean, things like that are just one little loop, you know? So it should be pretty easy to do. Let's see if I can figure it out on the fly. What you gonna do? Wanna get down? an original. Actually, you know what? This is kind of like the ultimate, like, I'm shattered, life sucks, I just don't want to think, I don't want to feel. This is, this is uh, Paul McCartney's Every Night. It's a pretty uh, unremarkable song. <laughs> but in a weird way, I, I really like it, because, like, Usually, like, it speaks to a certain period in time, I think, where you're just, you're just empty. I, I know that experience quite well. And you just want to connect somehow with the world, but you just need to take time for yourself. And 
and um, reflect. Like this was right after, you know, the Beatles were really having a horrible rift, and I think yeah, Paul began this like Christmas time, nineteen sixty nine. You know, they'd done Beatles had done everything by that point that they'd ever record together, and um, yeah. Everything was just bitter and strange. So. Bluffman, welcome. Every night I just want to go out, get out of my head. Every night I don't want to get up. What am I doing? Out of my head. That's a better way to do it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Every day I don't want to get up, get out of my bed. Every night I want to play out. Every day I want to do, ooh, ooh. but tonight I just want to stay in. Believe me when I beg you, 
I'll never do you no harm. Oh, darling, please believe me. for being here guys. SGD King. Hi. And CA1. Thank you. Thank you for tapping. 
Everyone keep on tapping. Oh, you're in Toronto, eh? That's cool. Well, I'm pretty chill tonight. I'm not uh, having the best day. But I'm not going to do Bad Day, because that is the worst song ever to be a monster hit. It's just aggravating. Um, but you know what? Yeah, let's try. I'm going to try this. When I first heard this when I was like 13, and I was like completely emotionally, spiritually exhausted, I was like... I was scared of leaning into what this song was calling me to do, to just break down. And I think facing that involves playing this bit. So let's see what happens. I think I've always wanted to play this secretly. This old train breaks down And I could take a walk around See what there is to see Time is just a melody Hi Chubby Aquaman With all the people in the street Walk fast as their feet can take them I just roam around town PK starts. So let's do something exciting to end on and then maybe I can I can PK and just play at the same time. We'll see what kind of PK it is. 
I have no idea what to expect. All right, so well, we're talking about trains, so this train don't stop. This train don't stop. This train don't stop there anymore. You may not believe it. Oh, okay. I think the PK is starting. So for those on Facebook Live, I'm on Bego at the same time, which is a wacky little app that uh, I've actually made a little bit of living from as a musician this month, which is nice. It's odd to actually get paid for playing. And I did through this thing this month um, a good amount and a, 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 a generous amount. So I, uh, I'm continuing with that, but tonight is a little bit of an off night for sure. Um, see you lots, never say so. It's, it's Steve Lynch's Cozy Christmas at St. John's 2004. What? <laughs> because this song is from 2004, it brings you back. Is that what you're trying to say, Steve? Never say so. It's Steve Lynch's Cozy Christmas at St. John's 2004. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to, let's, I added them, um, I'm just waiting for them to join up here, well, I don't, uh, I don't see them, Chubby Aquaman, how you doing? Okay, let me just check one thing here. Alex Murray, that's right. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's a little bit of a sluggish night for me. Um, so one thing, one thing I do when I um, PK is I. Uh, oh, perfect. Yeah. When when I. Um, at about ten o'clock every night, I do these little like concerts, and I. Um, broadcast on Bigo and, and Facebook Live at the same time. Um, I can shut it off uh, right now if you prefer. I just wanted to check if you're okay with like this being on, on Facebook Live at the same time. Is that all right with you? It's not It's not this screen. It's just it's through a webcam. Basically, that's also pointed at me. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, just figured we'll keep this going. Because uh, usually I, I play a couple more songs, so it's kind of like... I guess the encores or something like that, the way that this is set up. Oh, no, that's awesome. Of course, I'm a musician as well. I sing, so I would love to hear some music. Okay, cool. What what do you, what do you sing? What kind of um, stuff? I, I sing a lot. Um, on Vigo, I do a lot of, like, karaoke and just, like, pop and, like, yeah. whatever is kind of easiest. Um, but I do, like, a lot of blues, jazz, um, soul, R&D, like, that kind of stuff. It's my vibe. Okay, cool. Well... I don't know why this popped in my mind. Hey, Luke is coming. That's good. Um, but uh, I... Oh, I didn't even share my bloody concert. No wonder so few people were there. What was I thinking? Oh, go do your share. Do your share. No yeah, I'll, I'll share first. We'll and, wait. We'll hang out. Yeah. Thank you guys, everyone who's here. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Concert time. Appreciate it. Oh, Taylor, I never asked you. Where are you from? I'm in uh, Toronto. Me too. Really? I'm meeting so many people from Toronto on this. It's crazy. Right? Yeah, a lot of people have been signing up on Vigo in Toronto, which kind of makes sense, though, right? Like personalities, people who are artists, like yeah, like that's a lot of who we, who we are on Vigo, right? So it kind of makes sense that a major city would have a bunch of us. Well, I, I'm glad more and more are, are catching on because, like, especially I'm not sure if, if you all uh, Tio represent. Are you in Toronto too, Luke? Oh my God, you are. Um, Oh man, that's so cool! I didn't put that together, um, but uh, yeah, one of one of the things is uh, you know, for for us, it's like we're, there's not going to be live music. They're saying till twenty twenty one, so this is this is like the only oh, wow. this is our oh I, I'm sorry to drop that on you, 
right now. No, but, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of like the only way that we can we can uh, still make a living by by playing. And honestly, I I've I've really enjoyed Bigo, and in a way, it's more enjoyable and less tedious than making a similar amount of money playing shows around the city. You know, and because. Yeah. But I do miss venues as well. I'd, I'd like, yeah, I'd like a mix. Yeah, it's a whole vibe aspect, right? Just being in front of people, like, feeling their energy, responding to them. Yeah. Um, just playing in front of a live audience is so different, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, did I share with people? I, I Like, my mind is just crazy today. I'm like... Don't, no, don't worry. It's all good. Let me just also, share. I'm just doing something down here, so don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just uh, in the middle of something. It's all good. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to share one more time. See if anyone's able to pop by. My hearing keeps falling out. Where's the back? Oh. So, are you a performer full time? Um, well, I was in school um, and I graduated last April. So, for the last year or so, I've been working um, as a music teacher. Okay. I'm doing like gigs here and there, like around. Yeah. Um, but I am uh, getting back into making my own music, uh, things like that. So I'm going back to school in September to study production because um, I was studying, thank you, Monet. Um, I was studying classical opera for four years. Hi, Nightfire. Um, and like, I, of course, I appreciate it. I have an appreciation for it and I love it. But, um, it's not my genre and what I want to continue for right. my uh, musical career. So I'm heading back to learn about production and technology, which, oh my gosh, thank you, Night Five. Thank you. Um, yeah. That's great. I am. Um, Developing artist. Right. Well, uh, I, I, uh, I actually own a recording studio uh, with, with my buddy in, right, he, right. right around here. And, um, so I've learned a lot about production and engineering, let me tell you. I mean, I, I, production is interesting to me, engineering not so much, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I've gotten a certain skill at all of it, but, you know, mainly I'm interested in songwriting, uh, for sure. Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh, man! I appreciate you! Thank you for being here! All right, oh, gosh, yeah. Thank you a lot! Thank you so much! Yeah, I, I, I gotta invite everyone, because, oh boy. This is, uh, yes, so do your thing. this is getting intense. <laughs> yeah. Almost there. Almost there. That's really cool though, that you have your own, uh, recording studio. I'm like in the midst of making my own little baby one in my, in my place. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously like not as professional probably as you have, but yeah, ours um, took like two years to make and it's like all these different rooms yeah. and like, it's, it's hardcore. But, uh, oh, like legit. Yeah, yeah, it's legit, legit. It's not like how like people are like, yeah, I have a studio, and then you like go to their like little apartment, and it's just like a computer table and like the mic. <laughs> yeah, they have a blue yeti and some nice looking headphones, and and they think that that's a studio. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's Thank let's see if anyone guys. saves me. Save me, guys. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, what kind of music did you say you like? Or that you like to perform? Oh, I perform all kinds. Um, I sometimes I use these streams to kind of screw around and just try things I've never played before, um, which sometimes is an epic failure and sometimes works out pretty well. But uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I'll, I'll do I'll do something more normal as kind of an introduction to to your. Uh, you get weird with me, no problem. But go ahead. Well, just to introduce myself to people more, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So here's a little song. It's never an epic failure. Thank you, Chubby Aquaman. Alright, so this is a, a silly little song. Watch them move like snakes, taking every way out. I hope this cold by flow will be clean when I curl up and down. They promise you this, they promise you that, but the truth comes out when your call bounces back. Ooh, I can't take this lonely life, I can't take this heart of mine, yeah. Ain't got no cure for love, no, 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 no. I can't take this lonely brain, I can't take what I can't 
that they got Ain't got no cure for love Every sway, every glance, every kiss, every smile I miss Gets me thinking, hey, may as well hide in some workplace abyss It's the same old small talk, the same sultry walk Playing dumb, trying to outrun your biological clock Yeah, over and over and I can't take this lonely life I can't take this heart of mine, yeah Ain't got no cure for love No, no, no I can't take this lonely brain I can't take what I can't take, yeah no cure for love. Lord, how it feels when I feel it all. With a love to call my own. Love to call my own. Ain't the way it goes. She say I don't listen cause I'm too busy kissing. Then she turned me to stone. She turned me to stone, 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 stone. I got all kinds. Is that in your album? Yes, it will be. Yeah. Perfect way to end my day off. Oh, Thanks, Monet. Thanks, Monet. All right, Monet. All right. Thank you. I'm so glad she went over and gave me some gifts, too. I was like, guys, come yeah. on. You can't leave them at zero. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, I'll see. If I can leave for one second, I'm just going to check on uh, in, in, yeah. the, in the Discord and, and, and let no. some people know there, too. One sec. Um. All right. See what that does. Oh, Chubby Aquaman. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Yay! Thank you. I, I I think it once it gets near the end of the month, everyone's kind of like um, a, a little what they call bego broke, I guess. That that's one of the things yeah. that that starts to happen. I think. Ray, hi. Oh, for sure. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, I wish I could hear something of yours. Do you do you sing with like a 
a uh, like with backing tracks you mentioned, so like like karaoke style. I noticed a guitar back there too. Yeah, yeah, I can do something if you want. I would love to hear something. something. Of course. Okay. That's fair. Because I understand. Thank you, lady. I don't, I, I don't want to go after you. Okay. Let me just get my laptop. Yeah. One second. It's okay, Ray. Ray, if can you if you can share with some more folks um, about this, okay. that would be wonderful. Thanks, Chubby Aquaman. Thank you very much. Because. Because I'm on on Samsung, I can't share this in in all the all the ways that people can on 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 the phones. You know what I mean? On on, on iPhones, it's a little confusing. But yeah, looking forward to it. Okay. Is that upbeat or slow? Uh. Let's, I, don't, I really don't know. Mid-tempo, let's make it awkward. Mid-tempo, okay. <laughs> Hi, Shiny. She said, look, okay, I need to make this a little bit. Are you looking? Oh, Crown, thank you. Thank you, Shiny. Aw. Oh, look at me now. Queen, I'm a queen now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, mid-tempo. Thanks so much, Chevy Aquaman. Oh, and thanks, Ray. Thanks for sharing. Really appreciate it. You like Adele? Yeah. Okay. This is more like a, a beat, but um. Chasing pavements or yeah. hello or. Huh? Chasing pavements. Do you know that no, one? No, no. Okay. I don't know. That's a kind of an older one. Yeah, this is an older one for sure. Okay. And then the abs, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should. I should probably wrap this up. I'll end the. I'll end the Facebook stream at this time. Just because. Yeah.